that stuff, all that good stuff. We in the building, we here. I got something special to talk to y'all about, man, because I often get asked a lot by people, who should I be paying attention to from the West? Who are the people I should be checking out? Who are the people I should be looking up? And obviously you got names like Geechee Gotti, champion of the year, champion, huh? See Geechee out there doing his work. Rum Nitty, obviously, the Ill Max, the Sources, all of our legends, all of the people who are on the main stage, the Jada Nightwings, all that. You guys know about all of them. So I'm going to give you 10 battle rappers that are not at the main stage level, but these are the next 10 to get there. These are the 10 people from the West you should be looking out for. These are the 10 people. And I'm going to go ahead and start off this list for y'all, man. So... First name I'm going to mention is Young Grizz. Young Grizz is one of our battle rappers out here who's been putting in work for about four years now. A little, little over four years. He's been really putting in the work. Just had a banned legacy battle versus Cuban. All indications that that battle was crazy. Both of them went off and did what they were supposed to do. So you definitely got to look out for Grizz. He's battled dudes like Fettuccini, the Kid Clutch, Bangs. I mean, he's battled some people. He's battled some people, you know what I'm saying? The Cali Smooths, the Craig Lamars. He's battled some people. He's battled some people, man. So definitely Young Grizz will be at the top of that list. You definitely need to look out for him. Main stage Grizz. You should be looking out for that in 2019, man. So Young Grizz will be the first name I would mention. Next up, man, and this is in no particular order. Let me make sure I say it's in no particular order. Order the 10 however you want to order. I'm just, I'm just telling you how I wrote it down. All right? I got 30 pages of narratives up in this motherfucker. Huh? I got 30 pages of narratives in this motherfucker. Let me get back to let me get back to my uh my shit. Hold it down. Let me get back to unpacking my narrative. Next up would be RX. RX is one of our female battle rappers here in the West. She's definitely put in a lot of work over here in the West culture, man. She was hosting a lot of battles back in the day, doing recaps, really putting on for the West over here on the local side of the game, really doing a lot of great work for us on that side. And then she jumped in the ring. And when she jumped in the ring, you could just tell right from jump she had something special about her, that quality. And since her first battle, man, she's been putting in a lot of work. So when you look at the resume for RX, you got people like Torture. That battle just dropped. Make sure y'all go check that out. She has a Bonnie Godiva battle coming up on Town Business Day 2. So y'all make sure you got to check that shit out. You got Trav Uncut. That was a fire one-round battle here on the local uh, side of the game. Definitely a dope one-round battle. Y'all should definitely go and check that out. Pash Porter, Tony Blanco, the list goes on. RX is definitely somebody who we see as somebody who is going to be the next up from the West. That next top name that is getting pushed to the forefront. And so I put RX on the list of top 10 battle rappers from the West. You should be watching. Next up on the list, we have Saint. Saint is next up on the list. Now, Saint is one of them dudes where when you watch him, he has the it factor. Everything about Saint says it factor. Everything. And the way he's been rapping, the way he's been going into these battles the last year and a half, he on a mission to get there. He's on a mission to get there. So, let's talk about Saint and his resume, who he's battled. He has dudes like Eddie I on the main stage for King of the Dot. That was a main stage battle. Fire battle. Make sure you check that out. He's battled the likes of Geechee, Gotti, the Shy Dogs recently. That was fire, by the way. Drix, Times, Young Grizz, Yak the Ripper. He's battled some names. He's battled some names. He's put in his work. And this is another person I would say you should be checking out for. So I put Saint's name in the top 10 battle rappers from the West. You should be checking out. Number four. It's in no order. I'm just saying. At number four. Hold it down. We have none other than Dre Vicious. Now, I'm going to say this right now. It's blasphemous. It's ridiculous. It's egregious. Flagrant that Dre Vicious has not already been on the main stage. Let me just go ahead and say this simple and plain. Y'all love what Geechee Gotti do. Y'all love the surfs, the shugs, and all that. 
Dre Vicious is cut from that cloth. He's cut from that cloth. We talking about somebody who comes up with crazy punchlines, gives you substance, talks that shit? Look no further. Look no further than Dre Vicious. The man has battled the likes of Fettuccini. He just, earlier this year, he had a battle with Fix, a one-off versus Fix. Y'all know Fix is fire. Dre Vicious went in there and had performance of the night in January. So he's already started off this year crazy. He's been in there with Geechee. He's battled Geechee. You know what I'm saying? He's been in there with YK, Stewie Newton. You go all the way back in the day, he's battled top competition. The old Dre hat days and the old A hat days. Dre hat was a, listen, he's put in his work. It's long overdue. If anybody on this list, I would say, is like the most overdue for the main stage, is Dre Vicious. It's, it's not even a debate. It's not up for debate at all. Dre Vicious clearly deserves to be on that main stage, and I put him in as another entry for the top 10 battle rappers from the West. Y'all should be watching. At number five, I have Coffee. Coffee is another one of our female battle rappers out here, and her path in battle rap is very, very interesting because from jump, from jump, she came in smoking shit. From jump, she came in with a certain presence. You can't teach it. You cannot teach it. And she has continually put in work versus top competition. C3. I mean, look, we'll, we'll just run down a little bit of the resume. C3, Vixen, Miss Lisa, Yasmin, Danny Myers, 8R14. Crazy resume. Already a crazy resume. And she just keeps getting better and better and better. And she's on the band legacy. Hold it down for a second. She's on band. Band Legacy. Featuring Coffee or his first lady flames. If y'all don't put some more respect on her name, she's earned it. She puts in that work. And I have Coffee on the top 10 list for battle rappers from the West y'all should be looking for. Next up, we have the Kid Clutch. Kid Clutch is one of them dudes as well, man. When you watch him, man, one of the smoothest, the flow that he has, one of the smoothest flows in battle rap, cadence, one of the best rappers we have in battle rap. Dude has been putting in work for a very long time, has consistently put in work on a local level, has battled top flight competition as well. You look at uh, the Kid Clutch, you got YK, Young Grizz, Urban the Element, the Spot. Yak the Rip. I mean, he's battled a lot of names. He's battled a lot of names, people. So without qu without question, I got to have the Kid Clutch on here. I have to have him on this list. And y'all should be checking for him. Real talk, y'all should be checking for him. Clutch is one of them dudes that you're going to have to look out for here in the near future knocking on that main stage door. So I got the Kid Clutch on here as well. And let's just go ahead and be honest. After he put in work versus YK at the beginning of this year, after that battle... Y'all still sleep. We're going to wake you up, though. We're going to wake you. We're going to wake you up over here on the West. We're going to wake you up here on the West. But the Kid Clutch is definitely one of those people. Next up, we have Real Name Brandon. Real Name Brandon is somebody who, in the last year, has definitely elevated his profile. He's definitely elevated his game. This dude's battled the likes of Jada Nightwing, Fix, Pop. He's battled a lot of names. A lot of names. Giving you some of the best performances. He battled next. Huh? Oh, I got y'all attention. He battled next. Beginning of this year. He's battled some names. He's put in work at that level. Very new to the game. He's only been battling for about a year and a half. Very new to the game. But he's definitely a name y'all should be paying attention to and looking out for. So I got real name Brandon, who also, also, be on the lookout for him coming up soon. Be on the lookout for him coming up soon. That's all I'm going to say. Next up, man, we have next. I said we have next. I said we have next. Because he got next. Look at his resume. Just look at his resume. T.Y. Swag Tanner? Mm, mm, mm. Coliseum? Huh? Cali Cali? What's happening? West. TK, Kali Smooth, Geechee, Gotti. 
Here's the battle of Ron Compton and Drop. That was from a PG. And y'all, if y'all have not checked out this two on two that Nex and Drix did versus Fix and Plex, you have to check it out. Some of the best bars you're going to hear took place in that two on two. Some of the best material you will hear, some of the best punchlines you will hear were in that battle. They were in that battle. So next, definitely he has that star potential, that star quality. Next as well is on Band Legacy coming up. He's on Band. He's on Band Legacy coming up. And so without question, man, we got to put next on the list on the top 10. Battle rappers from the West you should be paying attention to. Next up, we have Drix. The first person from Sacramento to get the PG on the channel. Salute and shout out to Drix. Salute and shout out to Drix. He's battled TK, Saint. I told you about the two-on-two -two with Fix and Plex. I told you about the two-on-two -two with him and Next versus Fix and Plex. Check it out. Check it out. Don't Do yourself a favor and watch that battle. Do yourself a favor and watch the battle. He's battled local people. The Mike Hills and all that. He's battled. He's battled competition. And when you look at his performances, this is a dude that he's so unique at what he does. And that next as well, so unique at what they do. You can't find it anywhere else. This is very original. Very supremely original. Supremely original. And so I got Drix on the top 10. Last name on the top 10. Last name on the top 10. And I, I'm very happy to mention this name. I'm very happy to talk about this name and what they've done. I'm happy because for years, y'all have been overlooking, underappreciating, and underrating this man's work. He had a rough he had a rough patch for a little bit. He had a rough patch. Everybody goes through a rough patch. But in the last two years, he's made his way back. And we gotta talk about it right now. None other than Billy Boondocks. Billy Boondocks, I've put on the top 10 battle rapper list from the West of people you should be watching. The resume is already there. Y'all know about the Goods, the YD battle, Young Be the Future, RIP. That was a classic. You talking about the King Leos, the K-Fields, the LL Cool G, main event of the PG recently. And when you look at Billy, he's a natural entertainer. A natural entertainer. A natural rapper. He's one of the best rappers as well. A supremely talented rapper. Supremely talented rapper and battle rapper. A man who uses a multitude of different things. Schemes, punchlines, wordplay, angles. Utilizes everything. And so without question, without question, where he's at right now, you look at him, look for him to be on some one-offs coming up pretty soon versus top competition. Bankhead, what's up? Huh? Huh? Bankhead, come outside. What's happening? Hmm? Bankhead versus Billy Boondocks? I got to see it. I, I gotta see. I wanna see it. Let's get Billy Boondocks for some top competition. I, I got I gotta see him out there. Billy has earned the right to be on a list like this. He's earned the right over his career to be mentioned as one of the top battle rappers from the West. And without question, that is how I'm rounding out the list. That is how I'm rounding it out. That is my top ten. Now, I know people are gonna say, well, what about this person? What about this person? Well, I thought this person listen, that could be more. It's tough to make a top 10 list when you got 15 to 20 options. It's tough. But these are the 10 I feel like you guys should be paying attention to the most. You guys should be checking out their battles. You'll find in the description I have their best performances or their best battle. However you want to describe it, it will be in the description. Uh, make sure you type in all their names on YouTube. Check out all the work that they're doing. But these are the 10 people, in my opinion, you guys should be looking out for. Young Grizz, RX, Saint, Dre Vicious, Coffee, The Kid Clutch, Real Name Brandon, Nex, Drix, and Billy Boondocks, man. There are others. There are others. There's always more. But this would be the 10 I would recommend you guys go ahead and check out first. 
And that's how I'm calling it, man. This is West Coast Battle Media. West up, West Coast up, all that good stuff. We out of here, man.